Today, we're diving into another Hollywood-related topic that might surprise you a bit. When you think of that godforsaken industry, the last thing that probably comes to mind is gun ownership, right? Yeah, it's understandable. They're mostly Marxist libturds out there, leftists, out of touch with reality, and for some reason, can't stand our 2A rights. Did you know that a small number of female stars are actually gun owners? Now, don't get too excited. A few of them are hypocritical idiots. (laughs) There are a few who own guns but scream gun control out in the streets. But if you want to know if that Hollywood actress you've been fantasizing about is on this list, stick around. Number 1. Demi Moore So, first up on our roster is Demi Moore. This woman seamlessly hops from action-packed scenes in G.I. Jane and A Few Good Men to her real-life adventures without missing a beat. I gotta admit, watching her in some of her hot flicks used to be a guilty pleasure of mine. But here's the kicker, Demi's just as much of a sexy badass off-screen as she is when the cameras are rolling. Ever seen her handle a gun? Thanks to her ex, Ashton Kutcher, and his Instagram skills, We've all gotten a peek at Demi turning a gun range into her personal playground. There she is, cool as a cucumber, making an AR-15 rifle sing and dance in three rounds with machine guns like an NBD. Ashton's caption was basically, don't mess with Demi. And honestly, point taken. During their roller coaster marriage, it turns out guns were their thing. They went and got themselves matching pistols, with Demi picking a Glock for its won't let you down vibe. It's a pretty standard choice, but tells you she's all about that practical life. Number two, Laura Prepon. Next up, we're diving into the world of Laura Prepon. You might remember her as the ultimate cool girl from that 70s show, or as the crafty inmate in Orange is the New Black. But wait, there's more to this woman than killer acting chops and memorable one-liners. She's also a shooter. This isn't some half-hearted hobby. Laura's all in, especially with her weapon of choice, the AR-15. It's not every day you hear about a celeb who can switch from the red carpet to the firing range without breaking a sweat. And not just any celeb, a woman celeb. And a hot woman at that. And a hot woman at that. Her love for the AR-15 isn't just for a show, it's a full-blown passion, marrying her on-screen intensity with some off-screen firepower. But Laura's interests don't stop at the shooting range. She's a self-proclaimed predator movie aficionado, which, let's be honest, perfectly complements her love for action and shooting. Whether it's gaming, diving into sci-fi worlds, or discussing the finer points of firearm ownership, Laura brings a refreshing mix to the Hollywood table. Number 3. Miranda Lambert Alright, let's chat about Miranda Lambert. Now, if country music had a queen, she'd be perched on that throne, belting out tunes like a boss. But here's the kicker. Miranda is not just about killer vocals. She's got a rock-solid stance on the Second Amendment. Yep, guns are in her blood. Like a good old American family recipe. See, Miranda didn't inherit these beliefs by accident. Nope, she didn't stumble upon them like a lost sock in the laundry. She owns them, lock, stock, and barrel. Literally. Getting her concealed carry permit was a milestone, not just some bureaucratic red tape. She wears that permit like a badge of honor. Oh, and this lady here isn't shy about her views. Nope, she's as candid as a late-night confession after a few too many beers. She weaves self-defense into her lyrics like a secret ingredient in her musical gumbo. For that, packing heat isn't about rebellion, it's about empowerment. Especially for the ladies. So when she steps on stage armed with that microphone, she's saying, I'm not just singing, I'm standing my ground. Number 4. Brandy Ledford Switching gears, let's talk about Brandy Ledford. This lady isn't just another actress and model. She also once snagged the title of Penthouse Magazine's Pet of the Year. And that was back in 1992. She's now much older, though by the looks of it, not any wiser. 
You might recognize her as Desiree from The Modern Family or as Dawn Masterson riding the waves on Baywatch Hawaii. And let's not forget her role as Doyle in the sci-fi TV series Andromeda. This libertarian loves to opine on political and religious matters that she doesn't know a lot about. In an Instagram post, she opens up about how she thinks Christians should accept members of the alphabet community and about how she wants more gun control. Kind of retarded, huh? She said she's a registered gun owner herself, but she champions gun reform as if there haven't already been a lot of gun reforms. She thinks she's advocating for responsible ownership, and because she's a gun owner, she thinks she's advocating for responsible ownership, and because she's a gun owner, she's pro-Second Amendment. But in reality, she's like all the other Hollywood socialites calling for gun control. From the looks of it, she's probably not aware of that part of the Second Amendment where it says, shall not be infringed. Number five, Hillary Duff. All right. Let's dish on Hillary Duff. Yep, that Hillary Duff. The one who once graced our TV screens as the lovably awkward Lizzie McGuire and sang her heart out on the pop charts. Well, she's gone down a path few might have predicted, swapping script lines for shooting lines. That's right, our former Disney starlet has taken a shine to the world of firearms, embracing the art of target shooting with gusto. Imagine going from teen idol to sharpshooter. It's quite the plot twist. Now here's where it gets interesting. Hillary Duff owns a Glock. I mean, yeah, there isn't exactly anything wrong with owning a Glock. Though personally, I think she should consider getting an Arsenal makeover. Think of it as a gun's glow-up, mirroring her own evolution from teen dream to sophisticated adult. But hey, doesn't matter if her taste for pistols is a little dated. Doesn't change the fact that she used to be a pop princess, but now she's now pistol proficient. Proof there's always room to surprise and evolve. Now that's a storyline even Lizzie McGuire couldn't have dreamt up. Number six, Jerry Ryan. Okay, let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the world of Jerry Ryan. Yeah, that Jerry Ryan from Star Trek Voyager, our beloved Seven of Nine. Off screen, Jerry's got a hobby that might just knock your socks off. She's into shooting. Not those fancy make believe Frasers who towed around on the USS Voyager, but real honest to goodness firearms. The kind that let you feel that raw power with every trigger pull. That's right, folks. Jerry's all about the kick, the boom, and the undeniable rush of shooting something tangible. Now, you'd think someone who spent a good chunk of her career zapping aliens with sci-fi gadgets would lean towards the laser tag side of things, but nope. Jerry's tastes are firmly in the camp of the here and now. She's got an appreciation for the nitty-gritty of shooting that you just can't get from a prop gun on a soundstage. It's that authentic, hands-on experience that she's after. A connection to the mechanics and skill of real shooting that you just don't get with CGI blasters. But here's where it gets a bit twisted. Despite her career passion for the art of shooting, she's out there advocating for tighter gun laws. And that's a big head-scratcher. On one hand, she's all about the thrill and discipline on the range. But on the other, she's pushing for restrictions that could make it harder for folks like us to enjoy our hobby. It's this kind of two-faced BS that makes you shake your head. It's like she's saying, I love shooting, but let's make it more difficult for everyone else who loves it too. Now, I'm all for responsible ownership and ensuring guns are handled safely, but it feels like we're navigating a whole nebula of hypocrisy here. Number seven, Whoopi Goldberg. So back in November 2017, Whoopi Goldberg dropped a bit of a bombshell on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Amidst the conversation, she lets slip, actually, I'm a gun owner, babe. She's quick to add that this doesn't box her into a single category. She's all about embracing the complexity of being able to hold multiple viewpoints, like supporting gun ownership and being pro-abortion. A politically retarded mix. Jump to May 2022 and Whoopi's tone takes a turn post the Uvalde shooting. She's on air, basically telling the NRA that it's time for the AR-15 to hit the road. Listen, this AR-15's got to go, she insists. 
making it clear that in her view, it's not a weapon for hunting or dinner prep. This lady clearly has no idea what she's talking about. There are 20 million or so AR-style weapons in the U.S. The AR-15 is pretty much America's top-selling rifle. It's a favorite for its ease of use, sitting just a notch above a 22 caliber in terms of handling. What a tone-deaf hypocrite. She's got armed security around the clock at the studio and on her way home. Makes you wonder about the hardware they're carrying, doesn't it? Number 8. Dolly Parton Dolly Parton is not your run-of-the-mill Hollywood glitterati. Nope, she's more like a wildflower sprouting in a concrete jungle. Picture this. Dolly, strutting through the heart of New York City when some sleazeball decides to play the harassment game. Does she bolt? Nah. Instead, she whips out her secret weapon, her trusty gun, and gives him a look that says, Sweetie, you're barking up the wrong rhinestone-studded tree. Dolly's not some trigger-happy desperado. Nope. It's all about self-defense, a lesson she learned back in rural Tennessee. Her old man taught her more than just how to aim and shoot. He schooled her on the weight of a responsibility that comes with packing heat. Through those big, bedazzled eyes, we glimpse a tale of empowerment. The kind of confidence that'll make any creep think twice before messing with a rhinestone-clad force of nature. Number 9. Ava Longoria Ava Longoria is not the typical Hollywood glitterati. Nope. She hails from the great state of Texas, where guns aren't just props for action flicks. They're part of the family. Her dad, bless his Texan heart, taught her how to handle a rifle and hunt like a seasoned pro. But it wasn't some hobby. It was for survival. Their family needed that venison on the table. In an interview, she shared how she grew up around guns, saying, I love shooting guns. Being able to do that was just like a vacation for me, instead of getting dressed up and putting on lingerie. I can imagine little Ava, knee-high to a grasshopper, popping off shots before most kids even figured out how to tie their shoelaces. Number 10, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is no stranger to stirring the pot, especially when it comes to that squirrel scene in The Hunger Games that got PETA all riled up. She said in an interview that she carries a gun around for protection. Given her massive fame, that's understandable. But in an interview with Vogue in 2022, she starts spouting off like a caffeinated parrot. Quote, and how on earth can anyone have chicken and not want to restrict access to guns? I'm raising a little boy who's going to go to school one day. Guns are the number one cause of death for children in the United States, and people are still voting for politicians who receive money from the NRA. It blows my mind. I mean, if Sandy Hook didn't change anything. We as a nation just went, okay. We're allowing our children to lay down their lives for our right to a Second Amendment that was written over 200 years ago. Good thing her ignorant rhetoric has been debunked by experts. She was echoing a broader libturd sentiment back in 2022 based on CDC data that misleadingly included 18 and 19-year-olds with minors. When the data is correctly adjusted to consider only individuals age 0 to 17 as children, motor vehicle deaths surpass firearm-related deaths. The woman flip-flops faster than a catfish in a frying pan. One minute, she's all about firepower. The next, she's singing Kumbaya with the anti-gun choir. 